Welcome back to episode 6 of Inscriptions. Again, go back to the first episode if you're new to the series, but here we go. There are major spoilers ahead, as a warning. Alright, episode 6, here we are. So, we still need to beat her. We have not beaten her yet. I'm buzzing from the last one. Okay. I can beat you this time. I got my Ouroboros. Minions prepare for death. But then, life again. That would make sense. You are... Uh... You know, of the dead. So what I can do, what I realized I can do, is I can place a skeleton, break my skeleton to get a bone. And then I can place something else. Actually, I was going to place a grave digger, but now I realized that the dog will just kill it. So let's just place this. I should have just left the skeleton. Kind of dumb of me. But not too super dumb. Um, yeah, if I place my Grave Digger, he's just going to kill it. But it'll take two turns to kill it, so it'll be okay for now. Also, what is this? Banshee. Banshee will strike a poet directly. Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. It's not too scary. Okay, so I have two bones. So let's place one here to make the dog go the other way. I think I'm going to die, though. Very close to death. Oh, these changed. Or did they change? I think they did. Pay one to create a skeleton in your hand. Okay. Allow me to explain how it works. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. But it will only work if you can pay the cost. Yeah, so now I get a skeleton. Okay. Okay. Hype, so th then I just get the bones back. So I get them for free, basically. Oh, but I die. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsies. No, I don't need to open more packs. Although, did I ever open over here? Yeah, I did. No, I can beat you with what I have. I just... Did I even add the Ouroboros to my deck? I just realized. <laughs> That's the whole point why I bought that card. Um, where are you? I have a cat. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I didn't have it in my deck. Also, let's let's get rid of some of the unnecessary stuff. Like, I don't think I need that. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, okay. I guess, actually, I should put the four mana back in, but oh well. Okay, so let's play. This time, we'll just play the skeleton, and we'll just let it fight. And... Now, I'll just keep creating skeletons each turn for now. Sacrifice this for Mantis God. Make another skeleton. Ooh, that's so awesome, actually. What if I break this? Well, I still get the bone, but not really useful. I mean, I guess I'll do that. That way he gets killed by my Mantis God. An opportunity to use my quill. Rip Bonehead, turn one to turn two, death by skeleton. This one will be back. Okay. Hmm. Also, it looks like I get one energy thing each turn. Even though I'm not using those cards, it's good to know. Let's play this out there, because that will be safe. I just keep going, I guess. I would like to place my Ouroboros. So, let's sacrifice you. I guess you, unfortunately. Sorry. Now, if I kill it, hold on, watch this, watch this, watch this. Boom. It's now a 4-4. Four, four. Boom. Oh, wait, I got to place the two skeletons. I, is this an infinite? Oh, my God. 
Because if it works like the Ouroboros in the regular game, it's just going to get stronger and stronger. But you couldn't do this in the regular game, or not easily, because there wasn't a hammer. Unless there was a hammer I didn't know about. I'm also getting more bones per turn. It's a 6-6 six, six right now, dude. <laughs> Surely this will bite me. Surely this is going to bite me. I'm going I'm to keep doing this for a little bit until it's like a... Until it's like a 14-14. Then I think that'll be fine. Because then that'll be... I guess a... A 10-10. Let's go for a 10-10. Break the skeleton. Break the skeleton. I don't think there's hotkeys, unfortunately. Oh. Give me skeletons. Let's also just fill my hands with skeletons for now. The fact that you can sacrifice skeletons is pretty OP. Alright, now it's a 9-9 nine, nine, one more time. I think that should be fine. Alright, so now we're just going to sacrifice... Oh, wait. I kind of want some, some foil. If I do this a lot, I'll get a lot of foil. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing this. <laughs> Okay, I am back. I don't know if there's a limit, but I have done... It's now a 21-21, so I think we're safe to just... To just win. <laughs> I wonder if there's an achievement. No matter, death is never final. Rip Mummy Lord? Death by Skeleton? That one would be back in no time. Okay. Oh, you're a boss, so you get another one. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. Oh. 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 Fuck. <laughs> I mean, do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course, as corpses. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I could ju just boom. Easy. <laughs> It's because the passive still worked. She gave me a corpse, but it didn't work. I got 29 foils. Okay, now we need to double check. Is my Ouroboros still a 2022? 22, 22? I've beaten two of them, two of the scribes. All right, hold on. You really defeated me. I was not expecting that. You won't replace me, will you? Your ambition is to take my title, but there is something you may not know. There will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg that you spare me. Take these and go. Okay. You know what? Honestly, she's awesome. The stink bug was always nice to me. So I will not replace her. I only chose to replace her because I, I didn't know she was a scribe of the dead. Um, I got another Tomb Raider. Okay. Good. Okay. Battery low. Oh no, not again. What? What? I did not just spend all that time getting that 22, 22 Ouroboros. Oh my god, we're back here. Battery fully charged. <gasps> the new videos. All right. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. I kind of want to fast Hello forward there. through these videos, I but I'll let you guys watch them. Maybe my they're secrets. Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans printed me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Why would you email the company? <laughs> oh my god. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you could provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the lucky carter. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Damn, he didn't research very well. He should have checked Steam, man. 
Carter Gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do, so I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game or hear about it? I have. About that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week? I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? It is a weird please game. I will give you that. Someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days, and I cannot find. I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe they would get back to me, but I took a fallback. I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully you got something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the card? Excuse me? <laughs> You can't end the outro of a YouTube video like that. You got to go with the thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. You can't be like, what the fuck? What? What the fuck is the card? Uh, what the fuck is the card? Is the card. Someone should translate this in binary. I could, but I don't want to. It takes, that would take too long. Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding the digital version of an intellectual property inscription. We assure you that no such software exists. Base game and hardware, you are compelled to return to us under the completed fraud and abuse act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time. Oh my time. god. Please carefully package the hardware and place the attached shipping label in front of the box. They're pulling a Nintendo. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay returning proprietary software. Sincerely, James Dana, customer and happy. Happiness department. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, you can't. You, <laughs> you can't just keep saying that, dude. It, it sounds silly, okay? But they—they're literally pulling a Nintendo. Uh, they're like, "How dare you? How dare you have fun? Give us the 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 game." I think this woman's actually from Game Puna. She came to my door yesterday, and I didn't answer. This time, I'm gonna record it. Smart man. Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game called Inscription. Okay, Wait. What the heck? What? Floppy disk. Hey. I'm. Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game. Okay, I thought I thought something was like wrong okay, with her face. Never mind. I thought it was like edited, like really uh, weird, but it no. wasn't. No, I don't know anything about that. Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because um, apparently you emailed us about it. Ah, uh, the play dumb. Carter. Yes. <laughs> Wait, Carter, right? Oh. <laughs> you know the luckycarter gmail dot com? Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Right, because. I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> oh no. You got You're betrayed. Listen, you did not uh, hit her with the thanks for watching the person. Exactly. My boss gave me an address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. <laughs> She's like, look at this little nosy deli. Ask you about how it, how am I on your property? How would I get past your gate? Ha ha ha. Remember anything, anything at all? Feel free to give me a call. <laughs> okay. oh, that's Will so do. ridiculous. Take care. <laughs> you better not drop it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, alright. Another corrupt video. Hey 
there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Balamir. Oh. Damn, that's the energy I got after a really bad game of Smite. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Let's just keep going. That was weird. Yeah, so I guess the company's evil. They're like Nintendo. I want to see what I, what I have to do down here. If I beat the Bone Lady, is that what you wanted? You have no offering? Hmm. Okay, well, what if I go to the left? Maybe I can buy an offering? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Zombie skeleton. Yeah, no, none of these are like... I'll open one pack. A buff conduit. If I talk to you, does anything else happen? I need to collect my thoughts. Okay. Well, I don't think there's any secrets in here, other than the Bone Lord. But I don't, I don't know how to get the offering. Um, I'm like trying to interact with the map, but not really. Oh, what's here? Oh my God! Hello. You found us here. This is good. This is good. We require. We require. We require duplicates. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Thank you. Oh, I have two of those. The grave digger? Yeah, why not? I can buy more. I've got so much. I can get money super easy now. With my Ouroboros. Wow, you didn't make it better. Oh, wait. No, now it's griving. It now digs up two bones each turn. Oh, that's hype. Can you duplicate my other cards? Two of that? I don't know what card that is. Um. Anything change over here? No, just the lights. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, so Robo Land or the Tower? Let's go to the Tower. Oh, I like the music. The jamming. Greetings. If you're reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me. Magnificus to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Wait, is that just a straight up middle finger? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to. Let's see. Strange monocle, you put it on. Oh. Oh, this is like the eyeball. Oh, I see the symbol. So skull. Skull, wing, skull. I don't know if that's skull, but I'll recognize it. Yeah, this one. Skull, wing. Oh, I messed up. Skull. Oh, now, easy puzzle. Easy. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. The pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. It's the blob. You guys remember the blob on the desk? And he kept saying Magnificus is his master. This is him. Do you see? Magnificus turned me into, ah, goo for my final exam. Wait, why do you like Magnificus then? That's awful. I need to defeat one more challenger. Then... Then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in deck of the masters as one of the prize cards. Oh, why would you want that? Nothing will stop me. Well, I guess I'm nothing. Uh, so we're going to play this. I'm going to sacrifice it for good old fashioned Mantis God. And I guess I'm going to just play this because I don't know I 
How dare you kill my Mantis God. Have some respect. Oh. They only have zero power now. Get wrecked. Oh. <laughs> no longer do they have zero power. Where's my Ouroboros? I need to thin out my deck. Oh, I guess I should have placed him to the left. Whatever. I don't actually care. Alright, we should still be able to win. Looks like he's out of cards. He's at his limit. Now we slowly win. Come on, give me my juicy card. No? What if I just... <laughs> now we just keep ending our turn until we get the card. Ouroboros, Ouroboros, Ouroboros. They say if you say Ouroboros 20 times fast, it will show itself. <laughs> and this is how we get foils, boys. <laughs> I could make it even stronger if I wanted to. No, please. Oh, maybe I should let you beat me. You were kind of cool. You actually helped me. Tell the master I passed. You received magical card back. While... Oh, dude, these, these magic cards are so confusing. While Bleen's Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. While Bleen's Mox is on the board, it provides a green gem to its owner. So I guess they cost gems. And they provide gems. So it's like a little confusing. It's like sacrificing, but you don't actually got to sacrifice. And I guess the cost doesn't go away. But there's not that much space on the board, which is why I don't like the idea of that. Well, thank you. Wait, hold on. I see loot. I see loot. What's this? If you have a blue gem, sacrifice Master Bleen to draw three cards. Oh, okay. Any secrets? What's this way? Oh, the traitor once again. Collected cards. Oh, should I try to collect them all? I don't think it's very necessary. I don't think it's super necessary to collect a bunch of cards. We'll see. Maybe there's a secret. I mean, I, I do want to get some secrets. I don't need to get all the secrets. Wait, why does it put me on the left side of the room? Okay. Okay, so I need to solve another thingamajig. Springs into motion. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Okay. Kind of kind of weird, but I don't know. Okay. I just realized, do I, I have an infinite with this guy? Once I can afford it. Oh, look, there's a symbol right here. Do you see that? So, little skull. Skull thing, I don't really know how to describe it. Oh, left. Moving left. Or the move symbol. Um, I can't play anything right now. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to get, uh, I can't, I need a different card. Oh, and then wing. Okay, so now I just need to kill you. Thank you for the foils. It returns to its lifeless state. Oh, can I just battle him over and over again? Because he doesn't die? Because it's a training dummy? 
Well, I guess if I needed infinite foil, so I could just come here. So what was it? It was this dude. Push. And then flying. Let's go. Oh. Hello. Just imagine you're an ice cube slowly melting in a hot pan. Uh, no, I don't want to imagine that. Oh, I was only talking to myself. Thank you. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear? Damn, Magnificus, you brutal. Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will reward my me the highest honor. I'll be the centerpiece of his deck. Okay. So let's play this. Let's play this. And just let them die. Does this have sunglasses? Mage Knight? Play that. Play this. Hmm. I'm losing. I'm like, I'm like big losing. Uh, okay, so I need to break this. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. So I die anyways. Oh, unlucky. You wouldn't do this to me. Back to my mantras. Okay. Oh! Look at options. Okay, the middle fingers are right there. All right. Uh, good to know, I guess. Uh, I, I mainly was opening this to edit my deck. Um, so, can I just get rid of everything that's not necessary? Or that's not actually helping me? Like, unfortunately, Necromancer's not helping me. This one's not really helping me. Uh... I guess that one's okay. Dead hand. Pharaoh's pets. I'm not really using that. I'm not really using that. And let's get rid of some skeletons. And the reason I'm doing that is that way I'm way more likely to draw my Ouroboros. Of course, the problem is maybe I won't be able to play anything on the turn one. I should just straight up get rid of everything that's not a that's not a skeleton, basically. And <laughs> just have everything else Ouroboros slash uh because skeletons on their own are fine. They're not bad. I have to break this. That way I can play Mantis God. Mantis God, Mantis God, Mantis, Mantis, Mantis God. Wait, why do you have one? Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Gross. Uh, okay, I can't play anything, so I'm just going to kill them. Do I win? Yep. Again, I mean, foils don't really matter at this point. Like, I can buy more cards, but I don't think I need any more cards. Perhaps I will not be c central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Oh, take this back. I, I'm so sorry. Can't be sacrificed. Yeah, I, I, genu I genuinely don't like these cards. Genuinely don't like them. I like the cat. And the skeleton mage, I guess. go all right wait i see loot i see treasure chest okay uh anything else in here like i don't think there's anything else in these rooms looks like that's literally it 
But also remember how there were hidden passageways before? I assume this just goes back down. Yeah, this seemed kind of obvious. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It just doesn't see. It just seems like that's it. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, there's something in the chest. A single rabbit. You reach back and forth, but notice a sigil where the card used to be. Wing. Okay. The top sigil is found by the greedy. Okay, so it's got to be wing first. Because I guess that's greedy. The middle sigil is found by the pale. I don't know what that means. But what about the options one? Hard of hearing. So I'm guessing that was the audio one. Yeah, so middle <laughs> middle finger. All right, that's right. I could brute force the last one, but what is this? Down by the pale. Oh, is that up here? This is, oh, there were some dots up here. I saw it. But is there anything else in here? Is there actually nothing else in here? This, this, this is going to be secret in here. I guarantee it. <gasps> oh, that was the way I came in. <laughs> I was like, I found it. <gasps> oh my god, it's just the same thing. <laughs> I thought I found something. Oh, okay, whatever, whatever. I found what it is. Oh, is that not correct? Did I put the wrong symbol? The middle sigil. Oh, I reversed them. My bad. I reversed them. There we go. At last. Stimulation. My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. To unlock the full potential of my mind, as you see. It's unlocked now. Cheer me, Magnificus. I'm ready. We have to battle, okay? You look, you look kind of insane. But okay, I'm about it. Respectable. This would be a fun in-person card game, by the way. Like, this would li this would actually... Like, there's a lot of games like Hearthstone, right? Hearthstone would not work in person. This would work in person. And you could... Like, even the scale would work. Which is cool. Well, maybe the scale would have to be adjusted. But, I mean, I don't know. It just sounds pretty fun to play in person. It would actually be so hype if they have plans to make an inscription in-person card game. Obviously, they'd have to add more cards, but you know. I guess they wouldn't have to. And some cards are insanely broken. Like, I guess some cards don't work. Like, Ouroboros does not work. You could have Ouroboros work for the game itself and just have a counter. But not, like, permanently, obviously. You wouldn't leave, would you? I gotta leave. I'm sorry. I know you wanna sing and dance, but I gotta leave. I gotta go. If I open that door, you'll stop by the way back and let me out, right? Uh, I, I would, but I, I honestly don't know how. Were you in here? I just didn't see you. Dude, this room screams secrets. <laughs> it screams it. Wait, didn't the chest have a single rabbit in it? There's a zero one rabbit. What am I going to use that for? I don't even see it. Here it is. Can I, like, drop it on the ground? Doesn't look like it. Oh, well. I guess it's just supposed to be sacrifice fodder. Okay. Oh, you were painting, I see. You're painting, my dude. The note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go... Far past the extent of a common power grab? Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is un 
incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider. Dramora's the scribe of the dead, right? I just keep forgetting her name. Ah, you are here at last. It's the wolf, dude. Look at his face. It's the it's the wolf. The the stunted wolf. How do my pupils fare? No matter. There are far concerning far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition. The future is very, very grim. Yeah, so I guess I I took his eyeball, man, earlier. First we must battle. Yeah, he's he's the he's the eyeball, dude. That's why he was in the clock and I could only find it with the eyeball. Behold the brush of the scribe of magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card, but that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Now for a bit of color. Oh no, you're changing my cards? But what do these do? When skeleton is played, you draw cards equal to the number of mox cards on your- Oh, I, do I have to use mox cards? Oh look, he's dancing! Dancing in the starlight like they wanted- Oh. This is bad. This is like very bad. <laughs> I guess I'll place you here. I think I should kill this big thing. Oh, but it has power. Oh no, if you destroy my sigils, that ruins my entire strategy. Game one power? I mean, I guess my this game's one power. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta change my deck. A rabbit is created in your hand? I don't want a rabbit. Oh no, they they beat my OP deck. I don't have any mox cards. <laughs> oh, but I still have to pay the blood cost? Ruby is created in this place? Okay. So let's break you. And then I can play this, which should increase its power. Oh! You're still a 2022. That's all I need. That's all I need. Doesn't doesn't nothing else matters. You're still a 2022. 22 22. So I need to free up room on the right side, basically, but I also need to not die. Oh, I guess I'm going to die. No matter what I do, I die is the problem. Because he's going to hit me for one. If I break this, it doesn't become a skeleton again. Yeah, his sigil's gone. And if I break any of the other ones... I guess I could break this and put Mantis God here. Oh, wait, it's not. It won't work. And then obviously if I just do this, that doesn't work. Because the excess damage doesn't... Oh well, just end the just end the turn, honestly. I realize now I could have won because I would have got a rabbit in my hand, but that's fine. Let's just fight again. Fail. It's so rude. Perhaps I can teach you something. Okay. How about how about you teach this top deck Ouroboros? I refuse to change my deck, for I am impatient. Come on, Ouroboros, 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 Ouroboros. Oh, no Ouroboros. All right, well, we're gonna place you here and then sacrifice you to place you here and then place you here, I guess. Oh, that's so useless.
All of mine are have thorns. I need to top deck. I need to top deck right now. Any box cards, I don't really care. <laughs> if I don't have box cards, that's fine, honestly. Again, it's it's fine. I can win this. I just need to beat them twice though. A rabbit card? I guess rabbit card is kinda good right now. Oh I gotta sacrifice? Well, I don't want to sacrifice. I could do this. And I won without my Orbors. Oh wait, I gotta beat you again. I must be slowing down with age. I need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. Uh oh. Is he just gonna let me win? Oh, he's buffing his own cards now. I mean, fair enough. Very well. All right, we won anyways. Doesn't matter. Didn't even need the Ouroboros, dude. We got one more to go. Very well. We have battled, and now I may speak, you see. My eye, it aches because it remembers. It was excised by none other by Lishi, the scribe of the beast. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. And a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become. Hedgemon? You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of... What was he gonna say? You're telling me Lishi's not that bad? Lishi's awful, dude. What? Alright, there's gotta be more secrets in here. This is like his lair, dude. TO3's plot, dude. The stoat. The stoat. The one that, that's meeting all the time. Can I look at the window? That'd be so pretty. Nope. Okay. Let's keep going. What's in here? A leak? There's paint in here, but it doesn't seem... Oh, hello. Gib. Oh! Great Kraken submerges itself during its opponent's turn while submerged opposing creatures attack its owner directly? Guard. Anything else in here? I guess not. Uh, we should put that in our deck right away, to be honest. And maybe get rid of Dead Hand as well. Okay. Kind of weird. I, I don't think there's any other secrets. I, I kind of looked pretty well. It's not super well. I'm going to check behind these books. They look suspicious. <gasps> Is that like a certificate? I legit can't read it. There's a signature at the bottom. 129276. Oh. What about the second floor? I'm going to check the second floor. I, 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 there might be a walking a walking thing. Because if there's a fl one on every floor... No. I think, oh, whoops. I didn't mean to go back down. It doesn't look like there's a place to walk because the chest is in the way. Yeah, and they're blocked off. What about down here? I doubt it. I think we found the secret, though. Okay. Don't really know what it means. But it's wacky. 
All right, only one way to go. We're going down, PO3. Challenge me? Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit controller list here, but the bots are sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something good. Tell me to throw themselves off the line if necessary. And please have a decent deck by the time you're done. He's so rude, dude. He's so rude. Did I lag? Figure out why they're sending me trash bots to scan. Okay. Oh, you're here too. So you basically just offer cards of every type, right? Yeah. Seemed like it. Wait. What was that one? Meatbot? Meatbot seems good. I don't know what circuits are, but... Oh, no puzzles. <laughs> what have I tried to do? Okay, I got one. So plus zero plus one equals one. I mean, yeah. There's another one over here. Two out of six? Okay, so... What if I do plus one, plus one? That was a guess. It actually worked. Holy moly. What is it? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm very, 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 very busy? What? PO3 isn't happy with my output, but I'm merely the inspector. To put better bots on the line, I would need to. Just who are you? To be carrying orders from PO3. PO3 would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. I'm very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, I can't play anything. Maybe I should put that rabbit into my deck. Or just more skeletons, honestly. Yeah, I need more skeletons. Oh my god. All right, let me add more skeletons. It's going to make our deck kind of thick, but whatever. I'm not wasting your time. All right. Uh, it's more skeletons. And not that. Not even the zombies, honestly. Just skeletons? <laughs> no, I should I should keep the grave digger cuz it's a merged card. All right. He has the search symbol on him, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that. Like the one that lets you search for any card. I could have played this. Yeah, I could have killed him on that turn. Other creatures within a circuit completed by buff conduit gain one power. So this gained one power because of that? Okay. I mean, weird. Word flex, but all right. I should spend my foils. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not. Oh dear, your message from PO3 must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I am a mere inspector, not an engineer, but not a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but I, I can send myself. I am proud to have served PO3 faithfully. Well met, stranger. Oh. Oh my god, he killed himself. Okay. Well. You're on your way to become a very happy bot indeed. Wait, hold on, go back. them packs plasma jimmy activate pay one energy to deal one damage to creatures across from plasma jimmy yeah, the robot cards i think i like the robot cards second most i guess i like 
like the dead cards the most leashy's cards the second most and i think these robot cards they sound pretty cool even though i'm not using them i don't really have a strong desire to like switch it up all right let's go over here so i need four so one plus one that's gonna be three. Oh, i have to use all of them so that'll be that would be four but if i place this oh it doesn't matter Okay, I, 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 I guess. I guess that's how that works. So I just need to add one. But I have to use the other one. So let's put a zero here. Minus one on the end. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that works. Okay. Let me through. Wait, he said let me out. I skipped it. Ha ha ha. What was that? We are... I am the melter. They send me raw materials, and I well, You can see how it works. Not again. Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. He's like... He's pleading for help. like that oh so is this a complete circuit empty spaces within the circuit completed by factory conduit spawns leap bots at the end of the owner's turn other creatures within the circuit completed by a buff conduit gain one power oh so he's getting these for free each turn unless i kill this weird flex but okay I don't know why I still have this in my deck. If I kill that one, he's just going to get another one. So let's just... Boom. Ooh. Um. <laughs> oh. Let's not use him yet. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna lose though. Can you stop sending things? I wanna use my Ouroboros <laughs> to get a bunch of foils. Oh my God. Okay, okay, you, you know what, you know what? Should have placed it right away. Oh, I can't read what he says in red. It's too fast. Please help. He keeps saying, please help. I want to help you, but I genuinely don't know how. Leave me out. Oh my God. All right. Basically, just do the same thing. I almost won. Turn one combos are always fun. Um, I can kill this. If I break this, I win. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Help me. Excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? PO3 wishes for better bots for a scanner. That is difficult, you see. I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. No. There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. No, no, no. Haha. <laughs> yes, for PO3. They're, they're being controlled, man. This is sick. This is not okay. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, no. He's been melted. Okay. I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. Negative five? Well, what if I cover the negatives? Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, I have to be on this side? Alright, do the same thing, man. It was, uh, that was... Yeah, I was broken. Alright, I... I, I'm getting very lucky. I'm like, I'm not going into, I'm going into it with kind of a strategy, but yeah. What are these floating around down here? Oh, I did not mean to go back up. Is this the end of the line? Oh, hello. Yes, give me card packs. Scutterbot. Scutterbug. Hmm. So where do I go now? Hello? I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive, but I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders in it. Looking to dredge something special. We can do a I. Maybe even give you something if you win. But I can't be taking a dive. PO3 will understand. Okay. I don't know. PO3 is kind of mad. Also, what is this? Oh, that's how many cards I have in my deck. Is he not going to play any cards? Homie. You know what, mate? Can't take my eyes off work here. I'll give you this one. Okay. Yeah, he's not even playing. Here, take your pack. Energy conduit. Your energy never depletes. That sounds kind of good. Now off with you. I need to concentrate. Oi! Oh, and red letters? Is that... P3 is going to reward me big for this one. What? What am I looking at? What? What? I recognize some of those images. I think I saw the the woodcarver. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the woodcarver again. Is this old data? <laughs> I got it. What the heck, dude? I don't like this. Out of all of the... All of the scribes places I like this one the least Can we battle now? The bots haven't gotten much better, but you battled all my workers and you actually won. Give me that deck again. Wow. You beat them with this? With that? All right. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go then. Yeah, the synergy is I have a 2222. Beat that. See those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. Okay. Um, okay, well, I can't play anything, so you go ahead. Now it's my turn. So can I steal your meat bot? Is that how that works? When I'm dead. You open the crates around the temple, right? You need better cards? <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to beat you with this. I'll beat you with this easily. There we go. See? Look at that. Now we just go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so if, if my card goes around to him, he steals it. If his card comes around to me, I steal it? Obviously the one with the best stats. The stat line could be better. Oh, I... Oh, you... Uh, <laughs> I passed. It's your turn. Oh, well, if you pass, that's easy. I just win now. Because <laughs> the match has got to have one HP. <laughs> oh, that, I almost panicked. Dude, you're the easiest boss in the game, PO3. You suck. You're actually garbage. Nice luck you had. You know what? You know what I'm going to say? Bad play. 
You always told me bad play. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for a good RNG. <laughs> Sounds like a magic player. <laughs> I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead? A naive spinster. You ought to reconsider. Yeah, I don't think I don't want to become scribe of the dead anymore. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna steal your spot. I'm gonna become scribe of the robos. I'm gonna give them a better life. For you just use them. Can I go up there? No. Wait, hold on. Before I come over here. Oh, never mind, I can't move. It is time, Challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Let's talk about this one. Yes. Replace PO3. He's ugly and smells. Heh <laughs> heh heh. Suckers. Oh, you actually picked me? Great. I can skip past the part where they whine at me? Let's get this over with. I've got some big plays to make. All right, so I just got to beat you again. You were so easy. You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powered up version for the fun finale. This is going to be different. Okay. Well, I can't play anything, so your turn. Automation. Can't play anything again. Okay, now I can play something. I'll just leave this here. I've got to give it that dredger, not as useless as I thought. Look at this face. Oh my god. I don't like that card. It kind of spooks me. Is that 98 health? Oh! That's the ticket. Air corruption chunk. Oh my god. Oh god, look at him. I didn't even get a chance to beat you. What the hell? That is so loud. Hello. I'm scared. I see the light. Plus, plus, plus. N what? PO3? Is that you? You're no longer uh, six, six pixels on my screen. You're now like HD. You done gawking? <laughs> We could start. Good. This is Botopia, a once great technological paradise. You mean to tell me that inscription has a game that becomes another a, a roguelike card game that becomes an RPG card game and now we're in another To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? I don't think I want the great transcendence. Get up? No. We've got transcending to do. What? What? Uh, Botopi used to be safe for travelers. Now robots block all the major roads. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Lishi could never pull that off. Oh, he's, he's comparing himself to Lishi. Oh my god, we're back to basically the start of the game, but now it's all robot -y. Okay. Uh, double gunner. You don't have the energy? Okay, so I have one energy. I can play empty vessel. Okay, I don't really know what you do, but... We know how to play the base game. 
Oh my god, dude. <laughs> uh, so now I have two energy. What's this? You may choose which opposing space a card bearing the sigil strikes. That costs three energy. Energy bot. When a card bearing the sigil plays, it provides their energy cells to its owner. But you cost two energy. I, mean, I guess I guess I could play you. I don't really think it's a good idea though. Exploding bot. When a card bearing the sigil dies, this creature opposing it as well as adjacent friendly creatures are dealt ten damage. Well, now I have four, so I can play my sniper bot. And I can choose to attack. Can I attack my own squares? Oh my god, I can. Oh, I died? No, I didn't die. Not yet. Play shield bot, I guess. What do you do? Prevent the first time it takes damage? Okay. Uh, kill that. Oh, I'm dumb. Wait, I'm still alive. Danger. Do I have to take one more damage? Is that how that works? I can play my double gunner. These empty vessels seem so useless. One dollar. All right. Um. <laughs> you carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know. Then they fight for you. All right. Um. You guys. We're going to be stopping this episode here. But as you can see. There is way too much to this game. There's even more. There's even more to this game. We're. we're I don't know how many. I, what do I call them? Acts? Acts or phrases? Obviously, don't tell me, but I don't know how many there are, but this would, I would be considered to be the third act, right? So, the first act itself is already a full-fledged game, in my opinion. That is already insanely fun. The second act is also super fun. I, I mean, the art style, it's super pixelated. It's, it's, it has a very old vibe to it. I think the first one's better than that one, but I mean, story-wise, the second one's still cool. It you know, you learn so much about the world. Um, and now this one where PO3 has taken over, I suppose. And now we're, he's basically taken Lishi's place. I wonder if the other scribes do the same, although they seem better hearted. So I don't know, but we're going to find out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We're going to continue playing this game, but it is insane. Easily game of the year for me. Bye, buddy.